Hey guys, and welcome back to a Let's Play of Dino Crisis 2. From where we last left off, we got the starter battery for the ship, and now we're able to move it. So let's see what destinations we can go to. We can go to Edward City, which is uh, where, where some data and people were talking about. And then there's a third energy facility. This is actually where we need to be going, because if we go to Edward City, we'll only see an iron gate uh, door that that requires a key and we don't have said key so we got the only place that we can really usefully travel is to the third energy facility so yes travel what the oh that doesn't sound good oh. We're surrounded. don't worry I'll take care of this yeah this is gonna be a very interesting mini game. We have to protect the ship from Pyranodons and a new enemy, which is a marine reptile. Condition green, all system functioning, safety mode off. This is like a rail gunner minigame. You have to shoot the head of these plesiosaurs. So I'm gonna try my best not to get hit, even though I don't think you'll get a no damage bonus, even if you get out unscathed. But it does help you uh, gain combo points, which these guys, which can get you a lot of points. Now, if one, they like to attack from the sides and the front. If you see a red crosshair, that means they're about to attack. And if you see one that's not on your screen when they moved on the side, it'll display a warning like that. It'll show a danger sign and an arrow. It'll start from yellow and go all the way to red and then flash like, oh my god, you're about to be attacked and you, you'll get smacked just like that. And the only way to hurt these dinosaurs is, like I said, just shooting them in the head. So just hold down the fire button and, you know, you'll, you'll eventually get them. Second wave has come out, which is now the Pyranodons. This is far easier than the Plesiosaurs is because you can shoot them wherever you want and they'll go down. I don't, I don't understand why the plesiosaurs are not going to wanting to snack on the dead pyranodons. You know, this is a lot of meat I'm offering them. I don't know why they want to mess with me. Now, the third wave is going to be the toughest. We're there. Keep it up. Good yep. Now you can, now you probably know why it's going to be the toughest. Because now all, both of these minions are now out in full force. Don't worry too much about the Prime Dodge because you can always kill them really pretty easily. Usually. It's these... Ugh, it's these plesiosaurs that you have to worry about. It, especially the ones that want to get up in your grill. Really, really fast. And they'll like pop up right in front of you too. Like that one. Oh, I came out of this unscathed. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good job. We're here. Sharp, sure, sure, aren't you? Hang around the arcade much? Not really, actually, but yeah. That's awesome. I came out of it with no damage. Yeah, see, no damage bonus. There is no, no damage bonus. But you see, I earned 54,000 points. Now we control Regina. Whew, that was exciting. Told you it was an exciting part coming up. We get two new weapons. We get the heavy machine gun, and we get the missile pod, which fires three rockets. Um, it does cost a lot of points, and it's not that useful for what it's worth, so don't, don't, don't snatch that. However, we will need this. Grab it. ASAP. Because remember that part I was talking about? Hey, if you're really worried about, you know, your, uh your points and everything like that, and there's a part coming up where you can uh, get a lot of points. We are at that set point, and uh, you'll be needing that weapon because, yeah, it's the most useful weapon for this project. Power battery, the same thing as the heavy blade. Exactly the same thing as the heavy blade. Go ahead and equip your new weapon, which is now going to be overcoming your, uh, Pistol, you don't ever need that inky dinky little gun anymore. Actually, hold on, my frames per second, it keeps fluctuating. One second. Okay, hopefully that solves it because it was kind of like just going in and out. Let's go. I'll show you exactly how this works. Here 
We are surrounded by water. This water is water. Surrounded by water. I, I want to find that video where I got that from. It made me laugh so much. Um, those new uh, marine reptiles, the plesiosauruses, are going to make their appearance here. They give a lot of points. Now watch this. One pops up, take one shot, and he's down. You pretty much have to do this as they come up. And make sure your combo doesn't go away either, because I'll show you in a minute why. Just keep firing until you're, you're, you have a good understanding that they're pretty much gone. Move all screen. Make them respawn over here. Combo five. Combo six. <laughs> all I am doing is taking one shot at them. One shot, and that's it. This is about the best place you can get points, really. It... it Purposely getting points, that is, you know. So yeah, because you can't do that railgun minigame ever again. At least I don't think so. I don't I haven't found a way to do that again. It'd be fun to play it again, but you know, uh, for points sakes, you know. Ten thousand points! I have earned oh, what was the machine gun? What was that? Thirty thousand? So if I do that room twice, I would have earned enough points to pay over this machine gun much more. Although, I, I don't think I can really go back out there and have the same respawn rates. Because I think you actually have to move off the islands to uh, actually really ha uh, do a hard reset on these guys. Because as much as points as they are, um, they have taken to measures that you can't, like, go between back and forth rooms. I think you'll get a few plesiosaurs spawning, but nowhere near as much as the ones you're- the amounts of ones you're killing right now. Now, the strange thing is, how are all these massive reptiles able to fit in this closed environment? It is absolutely baffling. I, I don't understand it. It's beyond me. Will you take the- yes, I will. You don't have to ask me twice to grab that. Now, remember that one time I was ask, I was telling you that I don't like fighting pteranodons? Well, fine, I'll give you- I'll try. I'm probably going to get hit, and I don't really care if I do or do not. But this is where I generally try to, like, fend myself off, because it's usually a straightaway, and you can't really do anything with it. Don't spam the bullets. Just let it ride out. Exactly like that. The thing with Pranadons is that they love to, like, get kind of, like, above you, so you can't really have a good aim at them. And, I don't know, it's just killing them is such a chore. And I love the one- I love the one- uh, the times that they, uh, die in the water, like, ah ha ha! Oh, come on, keep my combo going! Yes! I'm not doing too bad on these Parandons. You kind of- you also want to constantly keep re-aiming because, you know, they'll be constantly moving around. Don't recommend fighting them in this little off-screen thing. Unless they don't spawn at all. No, okay, fine. 6,200 points with a 10k bonus. Not that bad, actually. I almost earned enough points for the plesiosaurs. I do not recommend fighting them here, but... Oh, crap, I went the wrong way. No! Okay, before you run off and get scared and whatever, look in this little cranny right here, and you'll see there's something underneath. You found a new dino file. Oh, sweet. Pranodon. No, oh, these guys. Meaning, winged and toothless. Length, 3 meters. Wingspan, 6 meters. They mostly feed on fish. These flying reptiles are typically... I, I literally just tilted my head. Is that an L? In... Uh, found near lake sides. They hover and glide over the water searching for fish. Then, with tremendous speed, they dive to snatch their prey. Although their diet consists of mainly fish, they also feed on small animals and even on mammals like us humans. Lately, the Prandons have started to attack on humans near the facility trying to fight for their territory. When they are circling above you, it is very hard to shoot them, although they seem to be flying slowly, but in fact are flying fairly fast. Before they attack their prey, they'll come and surround you. That's when you should shoot them down. One thing you have to remember is that their skin of armor is thicker than it appears, and if you are too busy trying to shoot one down, the others will attack you off guard. To lessen the chance of this happening, it's important to choose an appropriate weapon, just like the submachine guns, because I believe that's probably your best bet. 
Again, I'm not an 115,000 uh, expert at this game, but you know, what works for me, it, I use. Soldier's Papers, it looks like this is the end for this. After surviving all this time and to be killed by humans, who are they? Those people with the full face helmets and the rider suits. Somehow I managed to escape, but I seem to have dropped the key for this facility. Oh, what? How foolish of me. I can only think of one place where it might be. I might have dropped it somewhere near the spring in the jungle. Yeah, I act you can actually do this before you even reach the island, I believe. If it doesn't work for you guys, then I'm sorry, but maybe you're supposed to trigger the Railgun minigame and then get to the island and then go back and then it'll trigger for you. But basically, we have to go back to the jungle. You see that little spring? Remember that one little shortcut we had to take and fought two Allosauruses in Dylan's story? Episode? Yeah, we're gonna have to go back there. That spring has rather a fast current, considering its small size. I must go there quickly or else it may drift away somewhere. The disc I was to deliver, Colonel Mason, has been stolen by them helmets. <laughs> them helmets. <laughs> I believe the... Uh, 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 you, uh, data was about some kind of autopsy. Um... Am I gonna get hit? No, I'm not. So basically, we can't really do anything else here, so we have to go back to our ship. So, oh wells. Oh, yeah! You felt stupid, don't you? Stupid piranodons! I don't like piranodons. I mean, I like them as an actual thing, but not when they're trying to kill me. Especially in this game because they're very annoying. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Okay, I didn't do it. It was Samson. Samson did it. Okay, I'm sorry, but Samson is the guy you're trying to pick a fight with. Don't know who Samson is, but I'm picking that person out. If there's actually a Samson listening to this, I'm going to lull. So here we go again with the, the, the massive points. So don't mind me if I take the opportunity to abuse this. You know, it's not really even that abuse. It, you know, if it's in the game, then use it. So yeah, this is exactly what I mean. Do not worry about points whatsoever. You're gonna have plenty enough of points at the end of the game. Trust me. You won't have to worry a thing. See, the Tyrant King is much wiser than anyone could have ever predicted. See, the experience of games like this is pretty, uh, pretty high. No, he knows what he's doing, so that's a good thing. You know, there are blind Let's Plays, and there are Let's Plays that are done by, uh, you know, mediocre experience, and then there are Let's Plays where it's like, oh, I know a lot about this game, and you know what? Like I said, I'm not 105% like, oh, I'm gonna find every hidden health kit or whatnot, because, like I said, I don't need that much health. This game's not that hard. Um, but yeah, I know, I know a lot of the tricks and tips. I know them. Now you can see, there was considerably less plesiosaurus spawning, that's what I was talking about in the beginning. So, yeah. Don't expect to, like, abuse it so much, but I believe as soon as I get back here, it- they should be hard reset. I believe, do not- unless it actually has to be different people or different episodes of people that actually hard resets. I don't know. I never purposely actually grinded because I always ended up with far more points than I could ever dream of. Because, yeah, this, because I am epic, and I am feeding my ego. Hear, hear it. It is hungry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to recharge, and then we're going to go off to that Mr. Jungle. Now, I know I haven't been using the firewall, but, you know, I don't really use sub-weapons all that much. I try to demonstrate as much as I can, but, again, it's kind of like the, uh, what I do is what I do, and I usually just stick by that, so... Forgive me if I don't use most of things. The ship has arrived at the jungle area. I actually don't think there's any dinosaurs to hinder, hinder your way- Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no. There's no- I don't think there's any dinosaurs that can hinder your way. So, you pretty much have a free shot because you have to go back here. It's like, oh, I gotta travel, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, when you very first play this game, unless you have the strategy guide or whatever, um, you're not supposed to know, oh, well, let me go back and explore, you know, previous areas and see if there's something new there, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. If for speedrunning purposes, though, uh, you probably do want to go back, you know, you don't want to spend the entire time just, oh, let me just run all the way back. You know, I, I believe it's the, uh, Railgunner minigame that triggers it. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to experiment. 
if I, you know, I never really tried speedrunning a game, but if I ever did, and if it was going to be Dino Crisis 2, I will test it out to see, you know, which one it is. There's a spring coming out from between the rocks. Uh, I actually uh, recommend uh, examining this because, you know, it's in the picture, so, you know, one person will be like, oh, you know, what happens if I examine the waterfall? Little waterfall. Leaves and other light things are flowing down with the water. Really? What happened to be the key card? Oh, leaf? Yeah, this is actually kind of showing you how the current of the water is moving items. So, it's actually recommended to follow the leaf. And the leaf will go off screen to here. And I think, yep, there's a little twinkle right here. There is a key card. And there it is. That's the one that the soldier lost. And that's the one that can make us progress through the uh, next area. So, yeah, it's a little, you know, out of the way thing. But you know what? It's, it's not that bad. You know, at least there's no dinosaurs to hinder your way, like I said. So, that's, that's good. If I believe if you go anywhere else, you know, you're going to have the regular path and it's going to be a whole big waste of time because you're not supposed to be there anyways. So, yeah. Going back. Going back of style. I can't still believe I got that uh, without getting hurt. That's amazing. I usually get smacked by a plesiosaur because I, you can you can notice that it took a long time to at least shoot some of the uh, plesiosaurs and knock them out. You know, it, it, you, you pretty much have to be pretty uh, picky about your shots. You know, what I do is just, you know, I hold it. I don't try to, like, snipe everyone with just one bullet. No, I'm not that good. I mean, there's no reason to. I mean, you might, uh, while you're, you know, holding down the X button, you might get a prion down that's, you know, flying on the other, to the other side of the screen. Or perhaps a, uh, a lucky, uh, lucky rogue bullet that hits a uh, plesiosaurus and be like, Oh my god, no! But, yeah. So these guys should be coming back, or not? Oh yeah, or not? Never mind. Yeah, I killed them. They're they're extinct. They are gone. Like I, it, we should see floating bodies and whatever, but I guess not. So, whatever. <laughs> we get a long free shot, so you know this this speeds it up quite a bit. And when we get back to that area, we're gonna be in you know completely new area. So. And we don't get, we don't stay in like this area for too long. In fact, this uh, this m this island is broken up into two major parts, which is all Regina. Believe it or not. So yeah. First sire, this uh, episode I don't mind whatsoever. It's just the annoying Pranadons. Oh, hold on, let me equip something. Yeah, just in case I want to fight. And then there's the second sire of this episode, which I. Abolish! Ow! I abolish with everything I have. Oh, oh, oh no! I'll show you guys, and you know when I get to that point. Come on! Oh, the bad thing about these prandons is they—they they also have the power of no clipping. Also, the inconvenient thing is that you actually have to. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Oh, I was using the wrong one, wasn't I? Yeah, I was. <laughs> okay, get in the door now. Now, 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 now. Get in the door. Okay, thank you. Re-equip your machine gun because plesiosaurs are about to make a cameo again. So, do so. Not so much for the cameo, but to stop your plans. And also, there's a jet ski there. wonder if we can use that for any cool purposes. Attach the uh, machine gun, the Gatling gun. I don't know what the heck kind of gun that was, shooting bullets like that. But you know, attach that to the back of the jet ski. Ride down the water, you know, kill plesiosaurs at high speed. Don't bother with that glowing box just yet. I'll, I'll, I'll just trust me. Don't, don't bother with it now. It's a waste of time to do it because you can't open it anyways. I still don't get how these massive creatures can fit in such an itty bitty little space. It's not, it's not really, I don't know. I don't think it's really comfortable. Not with that many plesiosaurs in that area anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Maybe, perhaps maybe one, but no, not like 10 or 12. Jeez. Also, we're gonna have another hidden um, dino file in this room, so prepare to pick that up. Uh, don't forget to pick that up. You got the key for the box. 
that box, that glowing box, that's, uh, that's, um, we can access that now. There's something underneath. You found a new dino file. Mosasaurus. Who the heck is this? Meaning river of Mosa lizard. Length, 6 meters. Height, 0.8 meters. Their main diet seems to be the Amnonites, which live in the bottom of the waters. During breeding season, many Mosasaurs gather near the facility in search of food. The jaws, which are strong enough to crush even the hardest shells, are without a doubt a threat to us humans. Even the hardest diver suit would not stand up to a Mosasaurus's bite. Despite their large size, they are able to swim quickly. Their mobility is extraordinary. The first thing to do is stopping them. Shooting knee- uh, Why is it all caps? Shooting needles is one way, but the most effective way is to blast them with the shockwave and knock them out. Shockwaving them is especially useful when there are multiple enemies. They like to hide in small places, so you should be cautious near walls where there are holes and openings. Why do I get the bad feeling that we're going to be encountering said Mosasaurus? Him. Tomorrow afternoon, two mechanics are coming to this facility from Edward City. It is time for the annual maintenance check of the third energy reactor. This will be the ninth time. M. Oh, my, my, my screen did it again. Uh, the instant something happens to the underwater reactor, that is when all lifelines will be cut off to us. Again, all we can do is to pray that nothing will happen. As weird it as may sound, sometimes I may feel that it'll do us all a favor if that reactor just blew up on us. Space period. June 3rd, 4 p.m. The mechanics who went to the underwater third energy reactor still have not returned. They probably became their lunch. Whose lunch? This is a problem. One of the mechanics, Bob, has the key to the entrance of Edward City. No, not Bob! No! <laughs> <laughs> to go to the, from this facility to the city is critical that we get back the key. I guess there is no real choice but to get in the diving suit and go down myself. I just hope I don't become their dinner. Who's dinner? Would you? Mm, the Amnonites? God, be specific, people. Oh, what's this? To operate this control terminal, you need the mechanic's ID card. Ah, I see. Now, that's not the only thing that we need. In fact, we also need a code to open up that door. So I'll show you everything that you need to do. Um, why am I still exploring everything? Time waster! Time waster! I know. Shush you. This is mine, and I will waste as much time as- You know what? I can stand here all day. <laughs> Subscription value zero. <laughs> We're gonna have to go back out here on the upper floor. And remember that dead body we kept seeing when we entered that one screen? Yeah, we're gonna have to inspect him. Thing is, Pryodons are still here. Why don't you eat the dead freaking body? Ow! Oh my god! Oh! Okay, um, Regina, please get up. This is no time to slouch. There is a toolbox with repair tools inside, but there isn't a tool that's of any use. I don't care about that! There's an ID card inside his shirt pocket. That's what we need, and now we can get the. Ow! You mean? You mean? Oh bye! Get in the door. So like I said, not only we need the ID card, but remember that glowing box and that key that we just got? We're, we're gonna have to go back to that box because that apparently has the code for the door. Because we all know that security must be super high. Because the Pranodons will figure out a way to open up a door. And next thing you know, we're gonna have to call bird control. Or at least flying reptile control, you know what I mean? And that, my good fellows, is quite expensive. They charge rates of $2.99 per hour. Which, I guess, isn't so bad if you have to kill Prandons for a living. I suppose. <laughs> I mean, you are risking your life. And your dignity. So, you can see I'm not really bothering the plesiosaurus. I got enough points to buy the whole world. I have the whole world in my hands. Elevator security code. The security code for the elevator to the underwater third energy reactor has been changed. The new code is 0153. 
0153. Now, I believe this is completely randomized, so you're going to have to do this anyways. 0153. Okay. So, yeah, there's there's no chance of you like, oh, I'm going to get out of this, you know, pretty easy. I can always copy this down. No, because I believe uh, one time I had it, it was 5310. 0153. <laughs> I, I was like, okay, don't forget, though. Think anything bad happens, you put it in, and it's like, oh, warning, warning, five velociraptors coming out of nowhere. Why are these velociraptors in here? <laughs> Why? But no, it, it's, it doesn't work that way. They operate this, blah, blah. Yes, I do have it. Of course, I'm going to have to do everything manually, guide. Enter the four digit security code. Security card confirmed. You can operate the elevator. Oh, imagine that. To the underwater facility. Oh, no's. Yeah. Underwater. Oh, boy. I don't like this one bit. Doesn't matter what weapon you have equipped. It doesn't matter what condition you're in. You're going to be getting completely new stuff. So, yeah. Also... Okay, make sure you also have the stun gun at ready because you're going to be uh, needing it for a little uh, mini game. This terminal controls the power to all the machines in this room. The power has been shut to the elevator and to the diving suit enclosure. Displayed on the screen is the program to restart the power. Will you restart the power? Yes. You see those red things? They will all become green, and occasionally they'll start blinking. They're like, oh my god, feed me, Seymour. Feed me all night long. And you're going to have to feed them. Main power. Please check computer until power is supplied to all devices. Warning. When power is overloaded, this reactivation process will be suspended. Switch. So, yeah. Yep. See, he was hungry. So, this is pretty much all you have to do. Just make sure you get them all green. When they start yelling, you whack them. It's gonna be... The, the final one is all three of them are gonna blink. Oh no! I'm not gonna get it! Oh, wow, wow. There's gonna be one occasion where those two are gonna blink. You can actually get them in one swipe if you're pretty good enough. Oh, there's all three of them. No! Oh, that was close. All right, so main power reactivation restored. Hey, sorry for you heard anything like I try to show I had to let the dog out. That animal is noisy. Anyways, um if you go over here and climb up the ladder, you can see that we, you know, turn on the power and everything like that, and it's quite loud, so... To Bob. Oh, I heard that you were placed in charge of this area. As a present for your new position, here is a memo which may come in handy. It's about restarting the power. When you try to initialize the power restarting program, it often stops, right? Well, it's due to the man, uh, malfunctioning of the three control terminals. Here are some tips to operate it. When you initialize the program, it quickly overloads and the lamp turns red, right? Well, when that happens, all you need to do is just give it some electric shock with some kind of tool. It should wake the sucker up. Anyways, good luck. See ya, Mike. Not Mike, too! Anyways, uh, I will be saving... Uh, the underwater adventure for the next episode. So, this is Tyron King 10 and a let's play of Dino Crisis 2. Question that of you is going to be in the description. I hope each and every one of you have a great day. Bye.